Hello and welcome to Damon Machina Prologue Demo. So I tried out the prior demo that released after E3 or last year's E3. I was impressed with some elements of it, but I do think I didn't get a full handle on the movement and some of the map. So. I am curious to give it another shot to see what this demo potentially has changed and to get more of the story. quite sure what's happening so chunk of moon breaks off and falls and crashes into the earth that's what that looks like and I believe that is the case if I remember correctly from the description just give me the fun creative character because this one definitely had one of the good ones, even in the previous demo. And yep, here we go. I'm gonna have fun with this like I did with the code vein demo. <laughs> okay, so we're at female. Skin color pale. Hair, her style. Ah, there it is. Normal. Yeah, normal. I'm trying to remember the orientation of my hair. Since I actually had a recent dyeing, my going by my color patch. Why is it auto going to red? Why can't it just go to the color that I'm currently on? Because I want to alter it from. My color patch is now a blue into green and darker color though. So I actually want to change. more there right there that works uh hair color done face this one i normally don't try to match myself i'm just trying to go what i also find aesthetically pleasing To some degree. I kind of like that one. for eyelashes I'm more like what bags under my eye but short uh shape actually that's more accurate I think I have a dark and eye shape no 
that I'm not too worried about. Color. I have green eyes. Okay. Here's the fun extra little bits. I feel like I'm creating my monster hunter character again. I like this. I don't know why I just do. But let Yeah, I kind of like it with the longer side being there. Cosmetic eyeshadow. Do it purple. I kind of don't like wearing lipstick, so I'll leave it. I like two. I don't know. Types. Only the one. Color. Black. Neon green. Confirm. So this didn't take as long as the code vein one. I feel like I like this one more just because it's a little bit simpler. And while the code vein one is full of presets, it's still slightly more involved to the point of too much. Especially if some of those things are just going to be changed in game anyway. So it's like, why not just give me the default? Rarely with the choosing the outfit and also choosing the accessories. Yeah, I think the accessories were where Code Vein's character builder sort of Link killed it. Accepted. Greetings. My name is Four. Hello, Four. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between Orbital and Outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with Orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from Orbital. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. I feel like that's a lot of money of, hey, we're going to implant this in our link. And then we're going to test you. Before we actually... Okay. I'm hoping things are slightly smoother. Initiating arsenal boot sequence. Data link, normal. Generator pool, normal. Energy limiter release. Electromagnetic armor operating at normal levels. Weapon safety mechanism released. All systems normal. Commencing launch. Oh, the Gundam chills are just kind of fun. I don't think I've watched any Gundam in so long.
The outer aptitude test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. Okay, this was in the previous this demo, I believe. The Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. Pretty sure it was the same two people last time. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you only die out here. For Oval, and the world as a whole, Alders like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. Question even further of why you installed the Neuralink and then do the test. You wasted money doing the one thing. If I fail this test, then you've just wasted the money. Granted, it. Let's get this over with already. maybe it will kill me. Anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. Please direct your attention to your radar. Me jump fly. The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. Uh, the screen looks a little busier than I'd like. Move, jump, pull, and release to high jump. Activate flying mode while airborne. L move, L holding L in, deactivate mode, and we'll descend. Boost. Press R1 moving for speed boost. Aim with R. We go back to the old page. Aim with R, press. I want the weapon. L shoulder weapons, Y auxiliary weapons. I guess we. You have arrived at the designated coordinates. The aptitude test will now begin. The next phase will begin shortly. Initiating mock battle sequence. Destroy all enemy AIs. The vital points gauge will deplete as you receive damage from enemies. This gauge represents your arsenal's durability. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. To lock onto an enemy, align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Once locked on, you may fire. Your arsenal's OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability to avoid enemy fire and to get oh, what the hell? to return oh. fire. Not good at shooters. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I do think it feels a little smoother, but still. Processing. Designated enemy AIs have been detected by your radar. Destroy them at once. the other one. There you are. What's down here? Some rest before you tackle your next assignment. 
You should get your test results right away. See you around on the battlefield. Aptitude test complete. You have passed. Congratulations. Your arsenal link key has been received. You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. Hmm. Hold to skip. That seems slightly smoother than the previous one, but it's just so busy on the screen that I can't get a clear read on what I'm doing over what I'm not doing. Hmm. I struggle with, with do I want to play more of it or not? I mean, I'm not feeling it a whole lot. I'm. I like the aesthetic, I do, but I just don't think I'm into the style of game enough to really be giving a clear view. I do think it is a lot smoother if anyone played the previous demo and felt very off put by it but likes the style of game, that this is much smoother. But it is smoother, but I'm personally not feeling the style of it that I think I'm going to jump off. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.